Now, if it's too wet, it dead shorts across the microwave. Okay. And it just trips the 15 amp breaker. You're gonna do this one with the microwave then, or with the yeah. with the? I'm gonna do this with the microwave so you can see. This kind of burn. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a nice big burn. So I oversaturate it, wipe it down, connect up my ground. My power's plugged in. I'm on the insulated end of a yep. wooden dowel rod yep, with yep. a high voltage microwave 2000 volt. There we go. So it's you got to get it to conduct. Yeah. And you don't have to soak the wood for a while. You just you don't. As soon as you Does get it help if you soak soon as it I get while? current flow. Now if I oversaturate it, and it stops. It really will start to burn going. And eventually they'll try to find each other. Yeah. Because it's trying to you know, the current is flowing towards each other. Microwave is such high current that it, it actually will flame up. So, so this is too aggressive, right? But just to show you what kind of burn you get, this is arc burning wood with 2,000 volts of microwave transformer on a piece of scrap plywood. Just to show you what the burn looks like. Yeah. Wow. Well, you have quite a burning piece of wood there. And then it shorts. I stop it. Yeah. So there it is there. I'll get some more burn. It's pretty cool looking on the, still. On the other side of the wood. Just... Give this one some. This is which one? Oh, that's that one. Okay. So, when they put Pinocchio in the electric chair, this is kind of what he looks like. Yeah. So, sometimes it, the wood, especially with the microwave, sometimes it'll short. Sometimes you'll get a nice aggressive burn. Sometimes you just don't have enough moisture to get it to really open up. Do you ever have to have that, like, really pushing down on the wood? No. You never do? Like, if you had, like, a, a pinpoint or something, would you be able to do, like, you know what I mean? Like, almost like a tungsten there's, welding there, rod There's a video that shows a guy doing lettering. Yeah. Because he's actually etched out the wood in the, in, in the wording that he wanted, and yeah. then he puts nails in about every three inches along the letters. And he does quick little burns just along the lettering. Yeah. Okay. I gotcha. So that's a microwave oven. Now that I got it flowing and running, it's just going to give you a really nice burn. I noticed there's no smoke alarm in here. <laughs> so that's what... That's pretty powerful then. That's a microwave. So just to switch gears a little bit, I'll drop the microwave off. Plug in the neon, and just in the middle of this same board, I'll try to get a little bit more burn going. So this is the neon. Yeah, but this one might not go. This wood might be too saturated. So I try to arc it, which generates enough heat that it should start to burn. But this plywood is so oversaturated. Are you too far apart, or what happens when you get closer? It, it's it's oversaturated. So oh, it's oversaturated. You want me to wipe it? Nah. So I might not be able to get current going with the microwave through here. I mean, with the neon. But yeah. this piece of scrap will show you what it looks like with. With a uh, with the neon deal, yeah, we'll give we'll let this one burn out and, and open up to about the size of a half a dollar, and then when I go rinse the uh, the soot out, you'll see the difference between a neon burn. Ah, I might have lost it. Yeah, just like that, I lost it. And once you lose, it stops conducting. 